understand you. Not understand me first, second, second, third week. But here in that, you get it. The longer you stay, the more you get it. Let's finish up. Let's finish up. Verse 28. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of their prediction, of their destruction, but of your salvation. And that of God, for unto you, this last verse, our last two verses, for unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake, having the same conflict which is saw in me and now here, here to be in me. What's Paul saying? Paul is saying to them, listen, you are not only called to, there are times in the gospel where we have to suffer. The word suffer does not mean suffer, it means basically sacrifice. It means you have to suffer, you have to endure. There are times in the gospel where you are. There are times when God is not rosy. There are times when you are standing in faith. When you're standing in faith, and devil is throwing everything, the kitchen sink, and everything at you. And you stand in faith. The Bible says, stand therefore. If you say, if you stand and stand, you will see what you're standing for. If you stand therefore, you will see, you will get what you're standing for. But if you run away from that, then you don't see it. Okay? It's like the person who planted seeds. I mean, this is what happens to a lot of people. They sow seeds, they sow seeds, they, they give an offering, they pay their tithe and all that. They sow seeds, but then they get offended and guess what? They walk away from the harvest. Okay? There's a seed time, have seed time and harvest. Seed time in between seed and harvest. So when they plant their seed, guess what happens to them? They, they get discouraged by the time. They get deceived by the devil. Therefore, they run from the harvest, and the harvest is right there waiting for them. Amen. Amen. Have you guys learned something to the Philippians 1? We'll pick up next week, Wednesday. Let's bow our heads and pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for opening our eyes. Thank you, Father, for just bringing understanding and clarity to us of certain things. Thank you for correction, for instruction. Thank you, Father, because it's all part of growing up. As we study your word, you correct us. You, you use your word to chastise, correct, and instruct us in the way of righteousness. Lord, we give you praise. Father, we thank you because we are better off with your word. And we take these words and apply them, and you will bring them to our remembrance and work further with them in us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's let's now to our feet time to pray and dismiss. Okay. What I talk now? The